now in this video we will see how to pass the complex type that is nothing but object so instead of passing student id student name marks 1 marks 2 marks 3 i want to pass the object of class student s so i need to create the class student so i have already created a class student i'll simply copy that where i have all the fields as properties paste it here so i have got the class student so i am passing that object and i'll save this next i need to implement this get result so here i'll simply try to change it to student s and here i'll say s dot m1 s dot m2 s dot m3 so instead of passing various fields i have created a class of all those fields as properties these are all automatic properties and i'm passing the object of class student and i'm trying to calculate the average and process is same here i'll save this and execute it so this has thrown an error see that whenever it was trying to host the service there is an error here if i select this error description is this so this is the error description i have copied here error says that test service student that is the class that we created cannot be serialized if you remember in our web services whenever we are trying to work with objects we need to serialize them the same issue is here it says that student class cannot be serialized now consider making it with data contract attribute attribute what is that it is asking it is asking us to use data contract attribute for student and making all of its member you want to serialize with data member attribute so what is it we need to do i need to make the class as data contract and all the members as data members and you have one more message that is related to the collection which is not important as of now now let us go back stop this and i'll say student as data contract now this data contract class is present in the namespace system dot runtime dot serialization so here i get one more namespace this is specially used for serialization so i get data contract now in the same way i need to say data member for each and every field copy this Paste it here, paste it here, save all. Now let us try to execute this now. So here it is working fine now. I'll just go for get result. Now it is asking me to pass a student object. So I'll just pass marks 1, marks 2, marks 3 student id 1 student name and do i'll invoke it the result is pass so in this way we can pass the objects if i want i can also pass list of objects i can simply say instead of get result i can simply say get topper and instead of passing a student i can say list of students ls and i'm going to implement it here so i need to implement it and my return type should be 
a single student so here my return type will be a student so here i want you to implement the logic i want you to use the list find out the student with highest average marks and try to return that single record so that's it for this video thank you very much